thank you for a really insightful um, panel. So uh, this uh, brings us to uh, the closing of the IBSS celebration. I have a few comments, not many comments. First, I want to say um, it's been a wonderful event. Uh, I, myself, even though you know I put it together, I was surprised by it, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> um, I think uh, the, uh, of course, the plenaries, as always, are um, incredibly insightful, and uh, of course, came from people who are uh, experienced in the field and have done a lot of work along the dimensions, the different dimensions of IDSS. So I think that that's been great. But I do want to say the panels have actually exceeded a lot of my expectations. I mean, every single speaker have um, thought very carefully about how to bring very important concepts in 10 minutes. I think this is not easy for many of us to condense stuff to 10 minutes. Um, but people have done an, an amazing job and given us enough uh, food for thought for us to take this material and, and go off with it. And if we want to explore more, we can, which is great. But also, you know that it exists, so that work has been done. I've been particularly impressed by the alums that were inserted in every panel. So I think almost every panel had, uh, with the exception maybe of one, had an alum. Um, those are PhD students that uh, graduated under the IDSS umbrella or about to graduate in the case of Manu. And I would say that um, we've seen something really special with these alums and uh, maybe gratifying from my perspective not that they're just rolling through their slides like a student would do or a recent graduate like I did, like I still do, um, but that uh, they're very thoughtful about, well, here is a problem we're looking at, and here's a challenge of that particular problem. And here's an abstraction of this problem, and here's one way we can uh, solve it to give you some insights. And I couldn't have done what they've done in this presentation as well. And so I, I think it's been extremely impressive. And, uh, to me, and I heard that separately from other people, and I don't think we highlighted that enough that those were alums. So I'm going to highlight it right now. Those were students inserted in these particular sessions. So I think that's been particularly impressive, in my opinion, and it's sort of a testament of something happening that is that is positive. Um, I do want to say, uh, um, okay, so this probably is the last event that I will run for IDSS at this scale. Uh, uh, it's been... Uh, it depends how you count. Um, I have multiple numbers. I've been at it for 10 years, eight years, or seven years. Um, and those numbers depend whether you subtract two years of uh, COVID or not, and uh, whether you count the time we were actually putting together the proposal for IDSS. So there are multiple ways to count this thing. Um, for people who argue about subtracting COVID, I typically say multiply by 1.5. That was <laughs> that was a lot more work, not a lot less work, but maybe a, a lot less fun. Um, and so, um, so I just want to say that uh, for me personally, ending uh, before I thank uh, uh, properly the right people. Personally, I think it's been a gratifying uh, journey. Um, uh, I learned a tremendous amount. I, tr I learned uh, from my colleagues outside EECS and outside engineering and economics and social sciences and the business and, and, and urban planning and, and in the sciences. I learned how they think about their problems and I interacted with them. I cannot do what they do, but I understand where they stand and what they value. Um, and it affected my own research. It changed. Um, I didn't do what I used to do 10 years ago. And, uh, and I'm very happy with the trajectory, and I feel I can collaborate with even more people. So from um, uh, an intellectual perspective, I feel like this has been an, a tremendous impact on my, uh, on my career. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of work uh, from an administrative perspective. As John said, you have to na navigate the politics of MIT. Then after a while, it sort of comes natural. <laughs> so um, I am uh, I am very uh, uh, I feel honored that I had this opportunity and uh, I'm very happy where we are and I'm very happy with the transition to Martin Wainwright. I think that uh, we are in in great hands moving forward and so um, thrilled actually and at peace with this decision that took me a while to actually feel good about the fact that I'm stepping down. The last comment I want to make is um, actually reiterating a comment that a lot of people have told me. And this has, what a wonderful staff you guys have. 
you know, and um, I, I've, I don't take it for granted. Uh, uh, we have wonderful staff, and uh, we uh, we are uh, we're very proud of this. Um, uh, and actually, the other comment that people say, this no way in my institution would have been done this way. And I think that's interesting, but I won't tell who said that. Um, uh, every person here has a, has a particular thing they do at IDSS, but when we have an event, everyone jumps in. And uh, it's kind of like uh, we become a startup company and everyone does whatever is needed to get the, the work done. Uh, you know, if you need to drive someone from one place to another place, we do it. I remember one of the conferences we had, uh, one of the speakers arrived, and when they arrived, they couldn't, um, uh, their the, uh, book, uh, hotels were booked and their room was taken, and they couldn't find a place to sleep. And so one of our assistants brought him to her own house and, 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 and put him up for that night. Um, and so that's going over, um, but it, it was uh, impressive. So I have to say thank you for all the staff, for all what you've done in the last eight, ten years. Um, of course, specifics, I thanked some of you yesterday. But um, in this particular event, I have to ask uh, to thank Suze for everything that she's done. <laughs> Definitely made the whole event seamless uh, and, uh, and uh, painless from my perspective. Uh, and and I, this is the front end, but the back end, uh, there's just a ton of stuff that is going on that uh, she handled. So uh, thank you so much. I appreciate everything you've done. And of course, Flavia, who is running around at the speed of light and, uh, and doing so much. Um, thank you, Flavia. Also thanking you for stepping up the last year for me. I, uh, I needed uh, assistance and I didn't have my own assistance. So uh, she said, okay, I can do that for you as well with everything else that I'm doing. So I appreciate all of that. And then of course, the rest of the staff. Thank you. I know everyone has done something. I just wanted to single out Susan and Flavia, but thank you all for everything uh, that you've done. And then at the end, thank Thanks for your, uh, for your attendance and for your participation and sticking it all, all the way to the end. Um, a lot of fun to have you all in the audience. Thank you.